give you the glory. So we give you the honor. Hallelujah. 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 We serve a mighty God. We serve a risen saving God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a delivering God. We serve a saving God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Mighty God we serve. Mighty God we serve. Mighty God we serve. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hey, glory. 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 and say what you want to say. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can do it for you too, but come on, you can do it out of your mouth. Come on, whatever you want to say to the Lord. Come on. Come on, whatever you want to say. Whatever you need, come on, open your mouth. 
Whatever you want the Lord to do, come on, open your mouth. Hey. We need your glory. We need your power. Send it down, Jesus. Send it down, Jesus. We need your glory. Oh, 
holy. Hallelujah, 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 Oh, 
Y'all came to have church. Yes! It's Fire Sunday. Yeah! Hey, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let the church out here. to break tonight. Shall yes, he die and the Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Oh. Yes, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Yes, Lord. Shut 
for tonight? Are you ready to receive on tonight? Are you ready to eat on tonight? Are you ready to eat on tonight? Are you ready to pray come on tonight? Lift your hands and pray! and time and time over and over and over all you got to do is think where you should have been don't think about how he brought you out think about where you should have been and then praise him for where he got you at praise him for where you has you right now sometimes we forget to think back on what he brought us from and praise him for what he's doing now but take it when I think about where the Lord has brought me from my feet begin to testify and my hands begin to go up and say thank you Jesus all right I'm doing what I'm supposed to do but I see this atmosphere is right so while this atmosphere is right we're going to take this chance to honor our leader our leader, the senior pastor of this house, the presiding prelate of the Conquering City International Fellowship of Churches, the Bishop Kevin T. Austin. Come on, put your hands together for our bishop. Hallelujah. Come on, if he's been a blessing to your life, stand to your feet and let's honor this great man of God. I didn't say we came to honor you, but we came to honor the man of this house. The Bishop Kevin T. Austin, put your hands together and make some noise and give God some praise for his servant on tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And before he comes and strike this match all over again, and before he continues to let the Lord reign in this house, we're going to stop just for a minute just to honor our leader on tonight. Amen. 
tell somebody say a second Sunday pastoral Sunday hallelujah put your hands together for pastoral Sunday and every member and every partner that is a part of this house I need you to make your way to the middle aisle with what you've been asked for if you're not a member or a partner and if you would like to sow into our bishop's life now is your time to get in the middle aisles time to get in the middle aisles and let's bless our bishop on tonight amen I said amen come on we came to talk back on tonight that's not the time to be quiet before we can receive on tonight let's pour into our bishop on tonight amen hallelujah we know what, was, what has been asked of all of us we know what has been asked of all of us and for those that need to sow into his cash app that does not have cash on tonight you actually sow to his cash app and his cash app is dollar sign Kevin T. Austin Jr. dollar sign Kevin T. Austin Jr. again dollar sign Kevin T. Austin Jr. one more time do me a favor let's shop for our bishop on tonight come on we came to celebrate our leader on tonight amen and before we eat on tonight we're going to pour into his spirit on tonight amen thank God for our leader that has poured into us amen is that everyone in this line hallelujah glory to God come on we all can sow on tonight hallelujah hallelujah father right now we tell you thank you for every seed that will be sown into our bishop's life on tonight father we thank you for every seed we thank you for every every giver on tonight god we thank you for every member every partner that will be sown into our bishop on tonight god increase these what we have sown on tonight god and make it plentiful for the days to come jesus we tell you thank you in advance god for what you're getting ready to do what you've already done and what's ahead of us god we thank you right now god we bless you and we praise your name forevermore in jesus name we pray amen we ask that you come on and let's give those seats into our bishop on tonight amen hallelujah we can come on up here with a good smile hallelujah know that we're sowing on tonight expecting a harvest amen to our bishop, amen. You can come down at this time, amen. And just before we put on the C3 news for your attention, before it comes, I'm not sure if it's inside the announcement, we will, but we will announce that C3 this year is adopting a family for Christmas, amen. C3 is adopting a family for Christmas, amen. And if you have any questions, any way you can fund this family, amen, and support this vision, amen. Please see a member of our outreach team. I think the only member we have here on tonight is Shepherd Mother Austin. Please wave your hand, Shepherd Mother. So if you have any questions, please see her after church, amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. We ask that you turn your attention to the screen at this time for our C3 news and announcements. Welcome to Conquering City Cathedral, the place of the undefeated, where our leader is Bishop Kevin T. Austin Jr. and Lady Linda Austin. We invite you to join us every Sunday, 5 p.m., right here at 401 Western Lane, Suite H, Irmo, South Carolina, 29063. Please be advised, no one except staff, those with keys, or otherwise authorized by the bishop is to park or enter through back office door. Please park and enter through the main entrance, which is located to the right of the sanctuary. December 19th is our Ugly Christmas Sweater Sunday. December 19th, 
ugly Christmas sweater Sunday. Please prepare your sweaters. New Year's Eve service, December 31st, 10 p.m. right here at Conquering City. That's December 31st, 10 p.m. right here at Conquering City Cathedral. To keep up with all things C3, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. That's Conquering City Cathedral Incorporated on Facebook and Instagram. Now, as we prepare for giving, we have several ways to give. Cash app, dollar sign CCCSC. That's dollar sign CCCSC on Cash App. You may give Visa, Debit, or Credit, or see an usher for an envelope. Now, please stand and receive our bishop, Bishop Kevin T. Austin, Jr. You may be seated in the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is a time for our tithes and offering. All tithers, if you can, please come to the middle aisle. As a supervising priest of this house, we accept the tithes from those that sow and obey. We believe that we are 100% tithers in this house and we receive them in Jesus' name. Amen. Our line is getting a little bit longer. Amen. You're excited? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And those of you we're asking all of you, our partners, our members, if you can get those of you that are family and friends, potential members, those of you, if you could be so kind to sow a $25 C to our offering. And if you're going to sow, please stand. Thank you for those that are standing. If you don't have 25, you can get the best gift, but Amen. But we got to make sure, as a senior pastor, I got to make sure that the house lights stay on. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We got to make sure that everything gets paid. Amen. So if you're standing with that seat in your hand, please come and follow our ushers at this time. Thank you. 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 Come on. Come on. Thank all of you for giving. We appreciate you. Father, we ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you will bless the gift and the giver, the seed and the sower. We thank you for the harvest that's coming, for the harvest that's already here. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we all say thank God. We all say thank God and amen. Amen. If you can be so kind, I need it and I have no iPad. Thank you so much. Amen. We're going to preach tonight. Anybody come to hear a word from the Lord? Hallelujah. Gracious Father, we say thank you for yet again but your gospel is yet in my keeping. Father, give this body strength even now from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Fresh anointing. Fresh oil. Let it flow through this body. So we can get the word that you have given to us, to your people. Father, open up hearts, minds, souls, and spirits to be receptive to what you have to say on tonight. 
in the name of Jesus we say thank you for this word give us revelation knowledge wisdom understanding and power to get this word to your people and don't let no one leave the same way that they came in but let them leave change let their minds be renewed let their spirits be uplifted if you decide to prophesy father my ear is to the bosom of you that I hear you clearly we thank you now because we believe it's already done we thank you for this atmosphere of believers that had already expectation that this word has their name on it so I say thank you now thank you Lord thank you for strength let somebody ask what must I do to be saved let somebody stop running and come back home to you to their first love in the matchless name of Jesus Christ it's not by power nor by mind but by your spirit let the words of my mouth meditation in my heart to be acceptable in thy sight O oh Lord my strength and my redeeming let all God's people say amen Amen. If you can be so kind and go with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 6. We're going to start at verse 25. If anybody knows how to operate this, can you put some monitors in here so I don't have to work so hard? If not, then we'll just push through it. If you have it, say amen. I'm reading it from the NIV version. Translation for where we're going with this particular text. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. What you will eat or drink. Or about your body what you will wear is not life more than food and the body more than clothes look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not more valuable than they? Can any one of you be worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the followers, the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet, I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire. Will he not much more clothe you? You of little faith. So do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for the pagans run after all these things. Let me say that again. For the pagans run after all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness in all these things will be given to you as well therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own and the reading of god's word is already blessed and sanctified 
You may take your seats in the presence of our God and Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As I give my introduction, before I give my title, Mary, if you can. song I wrote, you might want to sing it note for note, don't worry, be happy, in every life we have some trouble, but when you worry you make it double, don't worry, be happy, don't worry, be happy now. Don't worry, everything is going to be all right. Would you look at somebody else and tell them, don't worry, everything is going to be all right. It's a little heavy on this side. That means I just need this so this side right here to go up in the uproar. There's a demon on your side. I said there's a demon on your side. I'm telling you to scream so that way it won't stop what God's about to give to you. I said, but there's a demon on this side. They wrap themselves in sheep clothing. They dance, they shout, but they're demonic. And it's on this side. Oh! I call you out. And I dare you to manifest so I can cast the devil out of you. I said, I dare you to manifest. Oh, oh Jesus. I said, I dare you to manifest because I will cast you out today. I still got casting out power. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Look at your neighbor. And tell them everything is going to be all right. Don't worry. Be happy. See, you didn't hear the word of the song. The song complained about the other stuff that was going on. But he kept saying, don't worry. Be happy. No, 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 no. Let me talk to somebody else. Let me talk to you, Barry. Don't worry. Be happy. You take your seat, let me work my text. 
Oh Jesus Y'all take your seat Pull your neighbor down I don't have much strength But I had to let the demon know I see you You watching me baby I'm watching you too How dare you come and disrupt this atmosphere And try to bound the service Say that the Lord rebukes you I said we rebuke you now He says Pull your neighbor down Let me give my introduction let me work this he sung a war cry and then he said don't worry be happy take your seat tell your neighbor I got a new chant if I had a voice I would do it Hallelujah. Take your seat. Y'all sit down. Sit, sit. Hallelujah. That's why the praise team had to work hard. It was demonic activity. I said it was demonic activity. Bounding the service. They try. But when you got the Holy Ghost. Tell your neighbor, when you got the real Holy Ghost, you can smell a demon. Tell them something, something ain't right. Something ain't right on this side. Hallelujah. Come on, let's, no, let's give the introduction. Sit down, sit down. Don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. Be happy. The reason, the reason we have made such an advance. It's because our mind is our power. You can sit, sit, sit. You're making me nervous. Our mind is our power. Yeah, glory to God. You can't do that and don't pull it and God don't speak now. And this is, this is, this is for this side. Just listen to this. Don't worry about what nobody got to say because you're about to be happy. It's a for this side. I said, is this? Let them talk. Let them say what they want to say. Let them do what they want to do. Tell somebody I'm bound to be happy. You're not happy about my transition? Don't you worry. <laughs> be happy you want to tell your enemy don't worry be happy Woo! I'm sorry but there was a cry over here that let me speak tell them don't worry Ooh, Jesus I'm going to be happy got tears in my eyes but I'm still going to be happy I may be a little confused, but I'm still going to be happy. I may not have everything I want and need, but I'm still. I'd rather have happy and in the peace than to have all the cares of life in the world. Let me finish my introduction. Our power... Take your seat. I'm sorry. It was just for this side. 
our power is from our mind. And if I was your enemy and I wanted to render you powerless, let me say that again. If I was your enemy and I wanted to render you powerless, I would worry you to death with so much on your mind that you lose creativity. That you lose your passion. That you lose your purpose. That you lose the sense of impact and influence on your life. If I was your real enemy, all I have to do is worry you to death. I was reading in the dictionary. I looked up the word weary. The Bible says be not weary in well doing. I looked up the word weary. One of the definitions is to have your sense your sense of purpose exhausted. Your sense of purpose exhausted. So if I was the enemy, you ready for this? I would stop your life from being fun. I want to say something. Who's stopping you from having peace? Who's stopping you from having joy? Who's stopping you from being happy? Happiness does not start with a relationship. Happiness starts with you. Because if they can make you happy, they definitely can make you sad. But if you have your own happiness... You can be happy when you have people around you or you can be home by yourself eating some Haggadahs, peanut butter, pecan, ice cream and some Netflix movie and chill by yourself and be just as happy in your life. Wouldn't have any cares of life. I will make you miserable in all that stuff God gave you. I couldn't stop him from giving it to you. You ready for this? But I will worry you to death until you have a real nice bed you couldn't sleep in. The devil don't mind you having nice stuff. But as long as you keep worrying... While you have it, you can't enjoy it. You can't become comfortable. You look around at all the stuff and you might as well be where you were because if you can't take your stuff, I can't take your mind. From enjoying the stuff I gave to you. So I came by tonight, I don't know who I'm talking to, but the devil is after your mind. <clears throat> Let me say that again. The devil is after your mind. Some of you not talking, but I want to say this again. The devil is after your mind. This side, you need better talk to me more because I'm telling you, it's too much demonic activity over here. And you're going to take that stuff home with you. The devil is after your mind. And let me tell you something. That's why you feel like every time you turn around, car breaking down. Every time you turn around, there's a bill that got to be paid. Every time I turn around, I'm falling out with somebody. Every time I turn around, my job keeps switching up my schedule. Every time I turn around, my boss keeps talking to me like I don't got no sense. Every time I turn around, somebody asks me for something. He's after your mind. The devil don't drive, so why he need your car for? Let me say that again. I said the devil don't drive, so why does he need your car for? 
you just be honest and say you didn't budget right and you trying to show up for people that don't care nothing or don't pay that car note. You don't want to talk to me here because that's half of our problem. We're trying to make everybody else be happy for us rather than be happy in your own skin. You want a BMW, but you didn't take care of the Nissan. You want the expensive car, but you didn't take care of the hoop thing. You want the house, but you can't keep your one little bedroom cleaned up. So could it be the devil or is it just us that just don't understand the principle? Tell somebody it's a principle. The devil don't, the devil don't work. He don't get up in the morning and go to work. So why would he be after your job? He's just using the stuff that you have to go after your mind. Because your mind is your power. I'm taking my time until I get my strength. Why in the world would the devil want my car when he don't drive? He don't want my job. He don't want to go to work in the morning. He don't want my kids because sometimes you don't even want your kids. You know the devil is using what you care about. Let me say that again. He's using what you care about to drive you crazy. Because he's after your mind. He's after your mind. Would you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's after your mind. And that's why he's trying to drive you insane. It's after your mind so that you will lose your power. Your mind is your power. Your power is your mind. So Jesus says, take no thought. I'm going to go a little deeper for those of you that like to go into the revelation of scriptures. Can I go deeper? Because some of you ain't saying nothing. So when he said, take no thought. Take no thought, but my mind is my power. And if I don't have power, that means I'm losing my mind. And the reason why some of you can't speak or healing unto yourself you can't even encourage yourself because you don't got no power there's a lot of people in here that have a reprobated mind and you're all over the place because your mind has no stability or no power come on touch your hand on your head and put your hand on your head and say neighbor we gotta pray for this mind no, 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 no. Now, what you want to do when you put your hand on your head and say, Lord, creating me the clean heart, renewing me the right spirit, and renew this mind so it can be inside of you. And when it gets inside of you, you keep me in perfect peace. Can somebody be honest with yourself and say, I'm losing my mind? No, 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 come on. I'm losing my mind because my mind is powerless. And I, I need the Lord to give me my power back. So I can take control over these thoughts that's causing me to act crazy. See, the problem, what I realize about church, y'all don't want to deal with real stuff. That's why some of you ain't jumping. And it's the ones that's not jumping is the one that got crazy minds. He says, take no thought. Take no thought. I was uncomfortable because it didn't really make sense. Lord, how I'm going to preach this. It didn't make sense to me. But I had to read it. Because I'm really trying to think. He says, take no thought. But he says, we need our mind the only way I can think or have a thought is in my mind 
okay let's go in he had to really look into and understand that he's not telling us to be mindless you know and he knows what you think right he's actually telling us you ready for this not to be distracted okay ah lord if you really want it come and get it i don't want you to be distracted so take no thoughts on the things that will pull you away for what i'm trying to get you to be focused on do you not know you can be so into the possibilities of what can happen tomorrow. Uh-huh. Because some of you right now, you so focused on tomorrow. What you going to wear? Because you got to get up early in the morning. Come on, y'all. I'm going to talk to me. You trying to figure out what you're going to wear. You're going to try to figure out what you can do. What's going to happen. You're already in tomorrow and you're still in today. You're so into the possibilities of tomorrow that you miss the pleasure of today. So you can be so engrossed with trying to fend off what could happen that you don't embrace what is happening. Do you know that God is blessing so many of you right now but because you're distracted you don't see the blessing? Okay. Y'all not, not going to talk to me when it comes to this. The enemy, watch this, watch this, the Bible says the enemy cometh to steal, kill, and destroy so everything he can't kill he wants to steal could the enemy be stealing your today with having you worried about tomorrow could he threaten you with the death of tomorrow so much that you don't enjoy life today so what good is being alive today if you're going to spend your life today worrying about death tomorrow? You're going to run out of bread next week. You're going crazy. Y'all don't want to talk to me here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you didn't run out of it today. Okay, let me talk to somebody here. I, I, I said, yeah, you could run out of bread next week, but you didn't eat the bread while it's here today, and then we're worried about next week when the bread is gone. You understand what I'm saying? So I wanted to go back and see with this particular text, what led Jesus into this conversation? And when I read the text before it, it was so schizophrenic. Mm -hmm. The Bible can be schizophrenic sometimes. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you read it much. Almost because in the text, Minister Middleton is, he says, if your eye is single, the whole body is full of light. If your eye is single, then your whole full body is full of light. Y'all missing it. So Jesus said, now come on, come on. You got to help me with this. You got to help me with this. Because I'm, I'm trying to understand that, that, that what are you talking about? Why are you talking about my eye one moment? And then the next verse, you're talking about my thoughts. You're talking about my eye. One moment, then the next, you're talking about my thoughts. See, it is never what you know about the text that matters. You ready for this? It's what you ask about the text that counts. And the reason why some of us, when we read the Bible, is boring, because you don't ask no questions about what you're reading. And if you start asking questions, the Holy Ghost will start revealing to you. It says, I'm so glad you asked. Because it doesn't make sense. But here, let me bring clarity to the scripture. So I asked the text, why does Jesus make this radical turn from the eye being single? This is what he said. You ready? He said, if the eye is single, the whole body is full of light. And then he started telling, take no thought. This is Jesus talking. Take no thought. What are you doing? 
What causes the eye to be single is focus. Uh, I said, what causes the eye to be single? Your focus. Uh huh. Let me talk to the people that use cameras in here. Barry, let me talk to you. Watch this. The camera don't have two lenses. It has one lens. And on the one lens, there has a thing that you can use to focus it. Because if you don't focus it, everything around you is going to be a blur. And a lot of you right now are out of focus. And that's why you keep going through things in your mind, in your heart, in your life. Because your whole life is a blur. You're out of focus. He said the eye is single because he's trying to get you to focus. You go to the doctor. When you're doing the eye exam, they never let you use both. They have you to hold one eye. Glory to God. <laughs> As if your eye is single because they need to see that if both of your eyes are focusing so that way you can see. And if not, they keep changing the lenses until the focus comes to I wish I was talking to somebody that liked revelation and said Lord now I know the reason why I kept dating the wrong people is because all I saw was a blur I thought they was this body because I was out of focus your design for your eye to be single he says, if your eye is single, the whole body is full of light. And then he starts saying, take no thought, 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 take no thought. Because I need you to stay focused. Take, I need you to stay focused. I don't want you to see everything that's blur. You see, some of us are living our lives out of focus. We see, but watch this, but we see men as trees. Okay. Okay, some of you didn't read the Bible, so you don't know where I was going with it. I said, some of you only see men as trees. And that means the first touch did not do. Tell somebody you need another touch. Because the man had to be touched again so he can see what he was supposed to see. And some of you, right now, before 2022, you need another touch. Because if you're going to see what God's about to do in 2021, he can't align you until you get the first and the second touch. Uh -huh. Just like the vaccination, you don't get one shot, you got to get two. Look at somebody said neighbor is coming in twos in this next season yeah you had a mr prophecy right there it's coming in twos tell somebody it's not just one but tell somebody another one is coming behind it yes so is it you or should we look for another look at somebody said neighbor i'm about to get double because god is telling me to focus on what i'm getting ready to do in this next season oh y'all don't want to talk back to me it's so prophetic what i'm saying because watch this next year is two zero two two y'all don't want to talk back to me and you got to understand that when God gets us in focus no this is not the year of double it's the year of alignment but I'm going to get double in the year of alignment because I'm getting focus on the right things he said the scripture says but seek ye first the kingdom of God and don't miss this part and his righteousness a lot of you like kingdom but you don't like to be righteous I want to talk to somebody what does righteous mean righteous means doing right all the time but you can't be righteous when you're nasty conniving backstabbing you gossip you do all that's not righteousness You'll be surprised how I'm almost finished my sermon. He says, we've been touched, but we need another touch so our vision can be cleared up. And our opinions and our attitudes and our reactions. Oh, oh y'all don't want to talk about that? So our reactions... Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. I said, our reactions, because we so quick, we got the snap, crackle, pop ministry. We ready to snap out of that. 
back of a high. But when you get the second touch, baby, you know the sin. I'm going to turn the other cheek. You ain't worth my double. You ain't worth what God's about to give to me. You ain't worth what I'm about to walk into. You ain't worth to give. Oh, y'all don't want to talk back to me. Tell you something. It's just not worth it. You trying to distract me and get me off focus. When God is showing me the plan, he's showing me the, 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 the strategy that he's about to give me, but I can't see it because I'm distracted. Then our decisions, once we get that second touch, then our decisions are smart. Then we can see the details because we are out uh, of focus. I can't see. Y'all don't want to talk back to me. Uh, my mother, when I give my mother something, she always says, where's my glasses? Because mommy is right there. No, I can't see until I get my second pair. Y'all don't want to talk back to me here. My second pair of eyes so I can see because the first, these eyes right here are so human I can't see the details but I gotta put something else on yes sir I gotta put something else on to clear up what I see because what I see is a blur and if I want to see what God is doing in this next season I got to because we are out of focus the entrance of that word gave us light and when you get God's word it brings you into focus would you look at somebody and say neighbor do you love God's word or do you just like to shout I don't want to talk to everybody up in here because some of you, yeah, yeah, that's why some of you are not standing. Sit down because the person behind you can't see. Uh -huh. but, 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 but there's those of us that says, Lord, I need your word. And if you don't like God's word, then he can't give you a word. Uh -huh. Because you still got too much world inside of you. And you're so distracted that you're willing to watch this distract me. No, baby, you ain't going to distract me. Not in this season. All the hell that I had to go through, all the tears. Is I had to cry all the things I had to lose in this season and you think you going I'm going to let you come on my road and hinder and distract what God is trying to do for me nah baby I'm getting ready to get focused you could call me grand bougie call me a diva call me whatever but tell somebody this ain't bougie this is focused I got my mind made up and I'm going because I want to see my Jesus someday. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, you better get your focus right. And if you're going to get your focus right, you better stop worrying about what's going on beside of you. You better stop worrying about who's talking about you. Because if the people's talking, that means you're on the way. And if they're not talking, that means you're probably not that anointed. And if they're talking, it's because God has a way. Overseer Tober, it's so good to see you, my brother. I love you. Come on, put your hands together for him. Ah, touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, God is bringing you into focus. Come on, no, no, no. touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor and prophesy to them. You want to prophesy the word because some of you only come, you want me to God to speak to you and only you, you selfish. Tell somebody, I want it for all of us. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, God is bringing us into focus. I'm going to bring you into focus because you're fighting without your sensual weapon. And your sensual weapon is your mind. Your mind. Hear this. And I got this revelation off of the study and research. Watch this. He says your mind is the lion's teeth. Oh, y'all don't want to hear what I'm saying. Your mind is the lion's teeth, it's the eagle's wings, it's the elephant's weight, it's the cheetah's speed. You just miss what I just said. All of this mind right here, I said, if the, your mind is the lion's teeth, it's the eagle's wings, it's the elephant's weight, and it's the cheetah's speed. Tell somebody, I got something heavy up here, it runs fast, baby, it can soar over. Y'all not talking to me here, and if you get too close, I'll yeah the lion tigers and bears oh my but tell somebody I'll bite you with my head yeah. 
So if I were your enemy, that's good care because we're, we're, we're there now. And if I was your enemy and I wanted to paralyze you, uh-huh, you ready for this? If I wanted to paralyze you in any place of your life, if I wanted to paralyze you in your mind until you didn't make good decisions because you were so worried about the things only I can fix. Mm-hmm. Did I not clothe the lilies? Mm-hmm. Come on, Cam, let's get out of here. They were dressed with more finery than all of Solomon's array. Mm-hmm. And, and, and they did it without paint. Mm-hmm. And, and, and they did it without worry. And they did it without sowing and reaping. Uh, can I get somebody to help me preach they did it by trusting and believing in God look at somebody and say oh neighbor uh, you better trust him uh, even when you can't even trace him Uh, tell him if you don't believe help my unbelief Uh, I said help my unbelief There is a higher principle. Did you hear what I just said? I don't think you heard me. That's me and you. We got that, this Lord. Look at your neighbor. I may not have the car of my dreams. I don't have it, but I got it. That's how my mind works. I may not physically have it, but in my mind, I'm driving it down 20. I'm driving it down 20. Twenty-six, in my mind, I'm driving it down seventy-seven. In my mind, I'm driving it down eighty-five. But tell your neighbor, I may not have the house, but baby, I treat my room like I got six bedrooms. I got a couch in there. I don't got no space. But tell them in my mind, I'm preparing for what's to come because I got a mind it's like lion's chief it sound like that song hair like wool I feel like brass but that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about your mind tell somebody my mind is like the lion's chief my mind is like the weight of the elephant my mind is like the wings of an eagle Robert I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night and day I spread I spread my wings and fly away yes Lord and I got my mind I got my mind it's so fast like a cheetah y'all looking at me like I'm crazy but I'm preaching with a weak body but my mind keep racing what is it racing about every time I turn around he keeps on blessing me tell somebody look at them in the eye and tell them it's about to get better for your life don't you worry it's gonna be all right be be happy tell somebody i know you're losing but don't worry be happy i know some of you don't understand what's going on but i'm telling you god is this is the revelation he gave me you ready for it this is the season of christmas and he told me on the way here i said god this was gonna bless me i started crying in the chair as i was praying over my body and said lord give me strength so i can preach to the word i can preach to the people God and he told me he said that many people are waiting on Christmas for a bunch of gifts but he told me the world says Jesus is the reason for 
before the season and he reversed it on me he said next year all year long I'm going to be the reason for the best season of your life because your mind is shifting some of you missed it but every time next year I turn around how did you get that because somewhere along the line I stopped worrying about it and I turned it over to Jesus and he made it all right shout oh, shout if I had a voice let me close it but now here I'm understanding have you ever got a blessing and you couldn't say I don't know where it came from ah, Jesus Jesus I don't deserve it I didn't expect it I didn't sow for it y'all didn't hear what I just said I didn't sow for it but look at me look at somebody and said neighbor look at me all the blessed people holler back at your boy yeah I ain't blessed I said if you're blessed holler back at me you think your blessing is what you got on you think your blessing is by how much in the bank but tell somebody as long as my mind is blessed as long as my mind is blessed and I understand here I want to take it to the next dimension I want to take it to the next level that you just get stuff that you never saw coming when you get your mind in Christ you gonna get stuff that you never seen you gonna get stuff that you didn't even pray for I'm talking to somebody you better hear the prophet you are about to get stuff just because you change your mind y'all ain't saying nothing here y'all standing there ain't grabbing it but where's the people that says I'm changing my mind to get the best blessings of my life let me close it when you change your mind I'll send love to the loveless You don't realize that love is coming different than what you expect it to. Oh, my God. How can God send me love like this when it looked like it's chaos? It's chaos to other people. But if it would have went another way, then somebody would have watched this. They would have messed it up for you. Okay. Y'all don't want to talk back to me. But he's getting ready to send love. Play softly. I'm done. For real. I'm not working hard today. Play softly. He says, I'll take you to the next level that you'll get stuff that you never saw coming. I'll send you love to the loveless. I help the helpless. And I'll give bread to the hungry. I will give you houses you did not build. I almost lost it on that. You didn't have to work for it, nor did you have the credit for it. But look at somebody said, neighbor, there's something that's coming that I'm not going to have to work hard for. That was a praise break all by itself. I said, God's about to give you stuff and you're not going to even have to work hard for it. Okay, well, let me talk to C3. This next blessing that God's going to give C3, we're not even going to have to work hard for it. But tell somebody, somebody going to come and just drop the key. If they did it for Bishop Hezekiah Walker, the lady walked in with a $2 million check. Baby, they can do it here. You just got to change your mind and your perspective that any minute now a millionaire can walk in the door and says we believe in the ministry and here's two million dollars to build your new cathedral. The lady walked in with her staff 
and gave the church the bishop a check for two million get me out of here because y'all don't got that type of faith that's why you got to learn to change your mind because right there you should have been blessing god because if he's passing out checks in new york baby we're only 10 hours away and if you praise they'll come find us they'll come a they'll triple over our page and say what church is this who is this kingdom who is this conquering city cathedral church it looks like they got good stuff going over there we're looking to give some money away we gotta get some money away we got too much money Bishop Hezekiah Walker said, give me my check. And he danced with the check in his hand. God's about to change your mind. That way. Watch this. Your boss going to come to you and say, you know what? We're about to give you a $15 pay raise. Because we've seen that you've been working. You haven't complained. Yeah, you could have walked out on me. But because you stayed and we need you, I'm a... Would you tell somebody I did not labor for it But God gave it to me Watch this. Here's the word. And the rest of you can dance for this. Watch this. God just told me to tell you, I'm not changing your salary. I'm changing your package. I'm not changing your salary. I'm changing your package. Bishop, what you mean? I'm going to give you a job that got a 401k plan that has some life insurance. I'm getting ready to give you some good benefits. Y'all ain't talking to me here. Tell somebody, God is not changing your salary. He's changing the package the way people look at you. If I had to strip, I'll dance. But I want God to change my package. You just see a bishop. But I want to see a millionaire. We got properties everywhere. We got... I said if I had to strip, God's about to change the way people see you. They saw you everything but a child of God. But now, so the Bible says, I'm closing with this. Stay right there. No, I seen him do it. I seen him do it.
what Jesus is teaching is seek focus on the kingdom and his righteousness and then I'm going to add all all I'm going to add all these things to you God is saying if you focus on what I need Okay. I'll focus on what you need. Okay. See, some of you, you're missing it. You're missing it. You're missing it. He says, if you focus on what I need, I'll focus on what you need. If you stop trying to open the door yourself, I'll come and open up the door for you. But you got to change your mind. He says, ready? If you're going to watch out for yourself, ain't no need for me to watch out for you. Let me say this. A lot of you is getting ready to work hard because you feel like control over what I need to get done if I don't got control over it a lot of you are planning your own future and God saying you're going to do all of that and still be broke you're going to go and do all of this stuff and watch you're still going to be in the same place because you're trying to do it yourself What happened to the church where we said we didn't ask we didn't ask the next person we spoke to God. God, should I open up this business? And wait for him to tell you, God, should I go back to school? God, should I work at this job? Should I move into a house or an apartment? Okay. Because all of you want houses, but you don't keep the apartment clean. I never seen a bunch of people that want, want, want so much. But what they have, they don't keep it the way they're supposed to. He says, you ready? Let me put it in biblical terms. You are snared by the words of your mouth. Let me say it again. You are snared by the words of your mouth. The only reason why you're going down is because of what you say about you. The only reason why you're going down is because you're trying to live your life based on what's just the compliments you get when you dress. All right. But when you're satisfied about you, you'll tell yourself, baby, you look good. If nobody ever tells me how I look, I don't live my life based upon what you say. It is what you say about you. If you're talking about what people say about you, what people say about you does not matter at all. Here's the hard word and the curse word for all of you. Stop speaking negativity over your own life. And don't talk about somebody else's negativity if you don't got a lot of positivity in your life. Because when you get a good mind, you know I got a glass house too. Just... Stop speaking negativity into your spirit that cancels out everything that God is about to do for you. 
If you focus on your purpose rather than your problems, you ain't hear nothing I said. I could have danced right off of that one by itself. If you focus more on your purpose rather than your problems, if you focus on your purpose with positive faith, like you lay down with the negative faith, every night you beat yourself up what I don't have I should be further along in my life I don't got nothing to speak for myself the more you speak it the more you're not gonna be it got people I wish I was this I wish I dressed like them no 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 be yourself I'm a trendsetter. Hey, come on, Shonda higher. Would you look at somebody? I'm self-made. I don't need nobody to make me. I'm a self trinner That's right. You're going to follow me, baby, because I ain't going to follow you. Because God made me my own individual. He says, let me fix it for you. What's going wrong with you is not what's wrong with you. God, I want to talk to somebody. What's going on with you and what's going wrong with you is not really what's wrong with you. Oh my Lord. Let me fix it again. Okay. What's wrong with you is not what's wrong with you. I don't know who that's for, but it's on both sides. Would you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, what's wrong with you is really not what's wrong with you. God used Moses to deliver let, 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 let my people go good, 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 good. God sent me here to, to, to tell you go he had a stuttering problem but his mind was made up no room no vacancy tell somebody I'm all filled up tell somebody I'm sold out I don't got time to carry your problems in this season tell somebody I don't got time to carry your problems in this season up in this season I gotta keep my air gates clean because I gotta stay focused he stuttered he stuttered he said take no thought therefore I tell you do not worry be happy don't worry be happy don't worry be happy don't worry be happy don't worry don't worry be happy don't worry don't worry be happy here we go war cry Say 
says, Shh. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. What's wrong with you ain't what's wrong with you. Oh, if I could dance. What I thought was worrying me, what I thought was the worry ain't really the worry. God is trying to get me to shift my mind. When I shift my mind, I get my power back. Let me talk to you that's struggling out there mentally. If you're struggling mentally, you need to give your mind back to God. You need another touch. Because you see men as trees. Who am I talking to? That says, Lord, I need you to change my mind. I've been worried about bills. I've been worried about what's the next move. I've been worried about what church I should join. What church I should be a part of. You've been worried about, oh, I'm going to look stupid if I do this. But you got to get this. You got to get this. You ready? You got to get this. Y'all ready? Sit. That means I'm ignoring. What's going on with you? I don't got nothing to say. All I got to say is this. words when you go home tonight you feel like crying when you're frustrated to say don't worry be happy one more time from the back say One more time, no music. Hey. I feel something in my foot. One more time, say. Tell him it's our new walk cry. Tell him I don't got no words. Praise him, daughter. Tell him, I may be confused. something on this it's getting anointed come on see y'all don't feel it yet well my nieces do oh, my daughter over here feels it don't you worry about nothing in this season Distracted. Come on, tell somebody.
opportunities. You're not worth the doors that God's are going to open up. It may not be to your liking. So I sing. to your neighbor don't worry oh god i feel it don't worry tell them i'm speaking into your life be happy Everything's going to be all right. Be happy. Speak it over your family.
Last time, come on, sing it. Tell somebody be happy. Tell them don't you cross over to the new year with this. And tell them no. Yes, sir. Don't you come over to the new year with the same mindset. Tell them I'm not letting nobody distract me. Tell them I've got my mind made up. And I won't turn back. Because I want to see my Jesus. Someday I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus Someday What Sunday is this? Fire, fire, fire Fire fall on me Fire, fire, fire Fire fall on me on the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Come on, say, on the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Fire, 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 fire fall on me. Fire, 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 fire fall on me. On the day, on the day of Pentecost. Fire fall on me on the day of his cross. Fire fall on me. One more time, say fire, 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 fire fall on me. Fire, 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 fire fall on me. Say on on the day of his cross. Fire fall on me. Say on. I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus Someday I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus Someday Tell him I got my mind made up and I won't turn back. I'm not turning back because I got one. I got my. And I'm focused. If this word has blessed you, lift your hands and receive this outpour. I'm telling you to lift your hands and receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's falling, but you're not receiving it. I said it's falling, but you're not receiving it. Come on, receive it. Come on, come on, receive it. What am I receiving? A new mind. Because some of you are going to leave with the same mind. Come on, receive your changed mind. Come on, I hear six of you. I need to hear everybody. Come on. Come on, receive. Come on, come on, receive it.
change my mind. The way I see things. The way I perceive things. I don't want to be distracted anymore. Because I refuse to be distracted. By what God is putting in my face. To show me you can have this only if you change your mind. You used to me doing it one way, but I'm doing it a totally different way. You may not like it, but I promise to tell you, it's God. Hallelujah. Come on, receive it. Hallelujah. Come on, receive it. I really love the Lord. I know that's old school. I really love, love the Lord. You don't know what he's done for me. Some of you that don't know this, but he gave me the victory that's why i love him i love him i really love the the lord you don't know what he's done for me in this mind he gave me victory Ooh, that's why i love him i love him i really love the Lord can I say one more you don't know I should have been there what he's done for me never wanted to come back to church he gave me in the area where I was struggling the victory yeah, yeah I love him yeah If y'all want it, y'all can keep it. Really love the Lord. When I finally let it go out of my mind, He gave me. Come on. Yeah. I love him. I, I love him. I love him. I really love the Lord. When I failed him, you don't know what he's done. I said, when I failed him, he gave me. Victor, the victory. That's why I love him. It ain't gonna hit everybody because you still got the same man. That's why I love him. That's why I love him. Forget about what I got on. That's why I love him. I love him I love love him I really love the the Lord
I love you, Lord. Come on. And I lift my voice. Come on. To worship you. Oh, my soul. Rejoice. Take joy, my King. In what you hear, yeah, let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. We exalt thee. Come on, we exalt thee with a new mindset. We exalt thee. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. Hey, I know. Oh, I, I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the Jesus. I love Jesus. Come on, I know something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest. Say I know, I know. Oh, I love the name Jesus. Hey, it is the sweetest sweetest I know, I know. Come on. I know. I know. I know. Come on. Oh, something about. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. Jesus. Hey! Oh, how I love the name. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Every time, something about the name Jesus. When I felt like I was gonna lose my it mind, is the sweetest name. Hey, I know. I really love the name. Oh, how I love the name 
When I met myself in the car. Oh, how I love the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. God wants to change some of your minds. That's why I'm singing about him. Cam, I'm going somewhere. Stay right there. If you can't get with Jesus, that means you're empty. My storage is empty. And I am a my storage, my storage is empty. I am, and I am a man. Oh, 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 my, my storage. storage is empty. I am, and I am a man. My storage, my storage is empty. And I am. Yes, Lord. And I, am I know you want to dance, but I want to worship. My storage, my storage is empty. Come on, my storage. And I am a baby. Oh, my storage. My storage is empty. And I, and I am a baby. Come on, come on, come on. My storage. My storage is empty. And I am available to you. If you didn't understand, he says, Lord, I'm available to you, even though I'm empty. My will, I give my mind, my heart, my soul. I'll do what you say. Do you feel Come on to show. To show someone the way. It enable me. And enable me to say. To say. My soul and is empty. And I am available to you. Everybody sing it on the one. Just camp. Say everybody say Lord. Come on, sing to him, not to me. Come on. To show. Yeah. 
Everybody say my story to the Come on, and I and I into this word that we received tonight don't worry be happy come on I'm not gonna tell you what to give but if that word really meant something to you tonight I need you to sow into it come on sow into your happiness sow into your joy come on come on sow into your peace my storage is empty hey, hey. my storage is empty hallelujah my storage is empty. Hallelujah. Come on. My storage is empty. Yes, it is. Oh, my storage is empty. My storage is Come on, sow into it. My storage is empty. Come on, just lay my it on the altar. Is empty. Hey, my storage is empty. My storage is empty. You can use me for your glory. I'm empty. My storage is empty. You can fill me up because I'm in there. My storage is empty. My storage is empty. Use me for your glory. I'm empty, Lord. My storage is empty. Hey, use me for your glory. I'm empty, Lord. My storage is empty. I'm available. I'm available. I'm available. Hey, my storage is 
I said we thank God for the word on tonight. I said we thank God for the word on tonight. And we thank God for the messenger on tonight. Let's put our hands together for God's servant on tonight. Come on, we can do better than that. Did you receive on tonight? We shall be going out of here on tonight. Don't that we shall worry about nothing. But be happy about everything on tonight. Let us lift our hands. Father, it's in Jesus' name. We tell you thank you, God. We thank you for how you've had your way on tonight, God. Now, Father, as we leave this place, but never your presence, God. Protect us as we go back to our various destinations, God. Give us hope right now, Father, knowing that better days are ahead, God. We thank you right now for our spirits right now, God. We thank you right now, God, how you've spoken to us on tonight, God. To know that everything shall be all right, God. We shall walk with our head up high, knowing that everything is all right, God. Use us for your glory, God. Watch over us as we go over the dangerous highways, God. Until we come again at the opponent time, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Someone say amen. Amen.